Yeah, they can see that. Good. 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 Right over at the rail of the table, right there. Oh, yeah. Come around here, grab a mirror with a pastor. Okay. Right. You got more in two seats. Come around. This way. They keep stepping on the red car. No, you can't take a picture. Oh. <laughs> I want to see her face. It's recording. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Where are you sitting, sir? Uh, right here.
welcomed Audrey. She is the one who punished us when in need. She is the one who babysat our kids. She is the one who stressed a fall is not the end. She is the one who really endured her kids. Who is she? She's our mother. And on her day, this day, celebrate eight decades of life. She's the one we are honoring. Happy 80th birthday, mother. Congratulations to you as you celebrate your 80th birthday. We trust that you will experience this very special day with your, with your family and your friends. Thank you for all that you have done and you continue to do to enhance your church, Bethel, Baptist, as well as your community. It is citizens just like you that make Orlando a better place to live and to work. It is my wish that on your 80th birthday that you will continue to be blessed with good health and much happiness. Again, happy birthday and wishing you many, many more. Sincerely, Buddy Dyer, Mayor of the City of Orlando. Look at him, he looked just like my daddy. <laughs> or like his granddaddy. Good evening, everyone. I know we're all ready to eat, so let's go ahead and pray. Father God, we do thank you and we praise you for this grand occasion. We are so honored, Lord, to be here tonight to honor such an honorable woman. And we just thank you so much for her life and how you have preserved her and kept her and walked alongside of her and just blessed her for these 80 years. And God, we ask a special blessing to continue to dwell upon her in the name of Jesus. We thank you now for these people tonight that are here. Because everyone in this building, Father God, came tonight because they love her. And we thank you so much, Father God, for that. We ask you, Lord, to bless this occasion. Let everything be done decent and in order tonight. And just let us have a wonderful time of just celebrating her life in Jesus' name. We also thank you for the food we're about to receive. May the sanctify and nourish our bodies. And we ask it in your name. Amen. 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 See, I'm reading my notes here. And I got one highlighted. And it says, dinner will be served. So we're going to start service dinner, y'all, and music will be playing, so uh, we're going to get that going. And uh, let's have some fun, all right?
I would like to call up has been a very dear friend um, since about, oh man, middle school, seventh grade. Uh, he's not even a friend. He's considered a brother. Uh, he's been in my grandmother's life probably since seventh grade. Uh, through family reunions, band trips, uh, whatever the family has done, uh, this guy has been there. And like I said, we, we really consider Jerome is a brother. I mean, he, he calls on the family. He's a part of the family. I mean, these guys, Jerome was there from when we started planning this. It's always a blessing when family and friends can gather together, um, whether directly or indirectly. Um, as Blue was talking about before, um, I've been with the family for the longest, um, which I tell people that, you know, even today, you know, two people call me boo. I said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm the good looking. <laughs> I always get me in trouble, even back in school, you know, between me and boo. Uh, boo, come here. No, no, chief, this is wrong. It's wrong. Not me. Um, but definitely, like I said, it's wonderful. That everyone is here and involved. And I'm pretty happy birthday. Many more. Um, Ed. Uh, it's called Sip It. <laughs>
relationship with the Secretary of Defense. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm going to say cheap on that force. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said those words to me uh, that you were proud of me has always stuck with me. And uh, I just want to thank you. All right, that's all I had on the note. Chill, chill. You're going to have to do something about your grandkids, chill. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to move on and, uh, to the expression of love from Tony to Stacy. This was the only thing I could get him to do. So Y'all don't know Tony and Stacy are. So Stacy, come on Stacy. Stacy has been around just as long as Jerome. And um, people think my mama got three girls because Stacy's been around so long. He's on. Um, him and Tony about the same size. So. <laughs> they really think they brothers. I'm sure he get mistaken for boo sometimes. <laughs> Stacy been getting me in trouble for a long time. I mean, he just got to get me in trouble for a long time. But when I, same thing when Stacy said, when we started playing this, Stacy was sitting on that couch at two dollars. And when I said, um, at the time, when they told her color, color, emerald, green, and everybody was cool, I said, well, I'll get a tuck, because, you know, I'm seeing this thing. I don't want to be like the rest of you. I'm going to get me a tuck. Stacy and Tony said, we can talk to you. We think you do. <laughs> and that started the whole talk thing. So he, he and me sit a hundred dollar later and talk to you. <laughs> They've been jealous of me for a long time. I'm going to let him say something. There you go. Good afternoon, everybody. Jeez, we found him on the doorstep. <laughs> I've been trying to tell him for 42 years. He did it. Fine. This is my real brother right here. <laughs> we look alike, we shake alike, we got the same attitude. We don't know what we got this guy. We're out here with these corny jokes, I mean, I'm telling you. We came to present our grandmother, Charlie, she used to our mom, our grandmother, our dad. And we just got a couple of tokens of love we want to give them. Um, Stacey and I have been trying to boost that and I told her she was proud of it. She just, I mean, it's, it's hard to look up again. Stacey, you don't know, look as good. <laughs> so she had to be proud of about something. So, <laughs> so me and Stacey, we came to present these gifts and just tell you how much we love you. And hope you get another 100 years, okay? <laughs> opportunity. I give God praise because I've been wanting to do this, I think, since I was 13 years old. And my presentation may be a little heartfelt because I've been listening to all of the accolades shown to her and it's just in her for the things that she has done. And this will be no different, only that it's special to me and to my family. And we want her to know that the things that you have done have impacted people so much that they've never forgotten it. And it was around 1967, tell my age. I was 13 years old, if I can recall. 
We lived in Bunch Manor, which was down the street from where they lived. They still in the same house, by the way. And we moved, we don't tell them how many times. But we, my mama and her went through a lot with those, with those boys, with those men. And, uh, <laughs> but I mean, if you knew them, you know what I'm talking about. But if I can, as I recall, it was another time in our life that we were in need of help and we were desperate. And as I remember thinking again, not again, Lord, at 13 years old, oh Lord, help us. My mother frustrated again and not knowing what to do, she went to her sister-in-law. And whatever they discussed, all I know, the next thing I know is that we were had pillows and blankets and bags of clothes and we went walking down on down Tampa Avenue to a child's house. And being 13 years old, being the oldest, you know, I knew what was what, you know what I mean? It wasn't like I was oblivious. I knew what was what and I didn't know what we were going to face, didn't know how we were going to be received. And all I remember is thinking as I was walking down was, Lord, you know, just help me, help us to get through this. But we walked, we knocked on your door with all of us standing there, our mama and all six of us looking up at you. And the first thing you said was, oh, come on in, come on in. <laughs> your six children and mama brings six more. It makes me choke up because it was impactful in my life. Because you received us with open arms and with love. You told us to come on in. Y'all children telling her kids, make room for them. Y'all go in there, get them something to eat. Whatever, they pat us on the floor for us. I'm 60 years old, I've never forgotten that. <laughs> it impacted my life. And I just want to thank the Lord for an opportunity to say thank you. And how much I appreciate that so much. I needed that encouragement. And I just thank you and for just your love and how your, um, your kindness towards us. And on what I have to present to you tonight, in Colossians, the third chapter, the 12th verse, you're going to find something that talks about kindness. And that's what I wanted you to have tonight. Some kindness for, for us, for your acts of kindness shown towards us. I want to thank Anne, and I also want to thank Helen, because they also made us feel at home, and Anne made Twitter leave us alone, so I was very grateful <laughs> to that. So we just want to say, you know, for those of us that are left, my Regina had to leave, thank you and want to present you with this token of our love. I had knee surgery on both my knees, and that's why I'm on a walker, but I wasn't going to let that stop me from coming tonight. <laughs> This, I hope you appreciate. And it says, presented to our aunt, August 3rd, 2013, Mrs. Charlie Jewel Walker, which I have her middle name, for acts of kindness shown to us during our time of need. And I put all of us on here, even though Jackie and Iris are gone. And I put love dog, Jackie, Iris, Kenny, Barbara, Janet, and Mama. And put Penny on here. So thank you so much. We love you. Have a great day.
thank you. And we're just going to do like this a special tribute to her uh, from her from all the eyes in the family. Thank you. Thank you.
to the back that's bringing up here. Everybody look this way. Not back there, this way.
see how. Oh. celebration and then tonight we'll have the 80th and two-thirds or whatever and then tomorrow it'll be the 81 82 the 83 and then at 100 years it won't be a surprise it's just going to be a barbecue and you bring your own ribs uh -oh. <laughs> oh lord have mercy on ribs okay bring my own ribs so, be here be square yeah be here be square and we just looking at Ed this video of Ed we're going to get him on that for Jordan to see on the video. Uh, we have sent it out to Instagram. This is his five minutes of fame. Every family got one. And guess what? We got ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make it to the 7-Eleven? Did you make it to the 7-Eleven? No, I ain't made it. Not yet. Look in there. Look in the face. Oh, look at that. Wind it up. This is it. <laughs> I'm too quite awesome for y'all.